Yo guys, look, guess who just got a drone? Hey, I've always been wanting one of these things for so long and uh, I finally got my hands on a drone. Look how small this thing is. So yeah, bro, let's fly this thing. Over here spying at them like the CIA. I love the CIA. Before I get back, I gotta get this sick shot though. Oh, uh, this thing is going back home. I just wanna announce my new release. Comfort is available on all streaming platforms, guys. On Spotify, on Apple Music, and all that stuff. And I appreciate you guys so much for your support. And feel free to go listen to it with the link in the description down below. And yeah, now let's go back to the video. What's going on, y'all? It is me, Deli FB here, back with a new video. And in this one, we're gonna be making one of my personal favorite presets. I use it on almost every track that I can, called the Reverb Saw Picture. Because this preset literally can make a dry sounding drop to something really nice. Uh, we're gonna start messing with it more. And so we're gonna be recreating the Reverb Saw Picture in Vital. And also, let's see if we can make a cool feature bass beat or something with it. All right, guys, so we just have the initialized preset here in Vital. And so what we don't want is our preset to be hitting the red zone. And so I turned in that a little bit. And so what we're going to go here is go to initial. We're going to give this eight voices. We can go up to 16 voices, but for the reverb saw picture, we're going to go with eight voices because that seems to be the sweet spot. And so with the unison, we're going to give it a 5% detune. It's going to sound very focused. And that's pretty much it for the first oscillator. So what we're going to be doing next is going to oscillator two, and we're going to go to the unison. We're also going to turn this up eight voices, but we're going to leave it at 20% where it is. And that's pretty much it. So Serum doesn't allow you to have one oscillator, but Vital does. And so if you wanted to, you can also add one with two octaves higher or 24 semitones higher and eight voices and detune this like double. So you have a really, really, really kind of uh, very detuned like a very cloudy layer, but turn this down really. You could you could do that if you wanted to in Vital. To so add a pretty nice atmosphere. And so we're gonna go to effects. And this is where the fun part comes in. So first we're gonna open up with the distortion because this is what gives it its sound. So in the Serum Reverb Soft Picture, the distortion was a tube distortion and Vital doesn't have a tube distortion, unfortunately. So the closest we can get to that is a soft clip, but turn it up. And what we're gonna do next is we're gonna go to EQ and we're gonna cut off all the low ends. We're gonna boost a little bit of the mids. I don't know specifically what frequency that is. I don't think Vital States, but I wanna say it's about 800 Hertz. And we're also gonna turn up the highs just a little bit to add some brightness. And so now we're gonna add some reverb. So in case you guys are wondering how the Vital effects chain works, the, the final effect will go on the bottom and the first effects will go on the top. The signal is going to distortion first, then it's going to the EQ and then it's hitting up the reverb. So the original reverb stop picture went reverb last. And then what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna go to the chorus amount and we're gonna turn this up around 57%. And so the size, I noticed that in Vital, the closer you have it to zero, the more open it is. And then the closer you have to 100, the more uh, smaller the space sounds. The key also is to have the mix at 100%. And the time, you can set it all the way to how your track is. If your track sounds better with a longer release, turn it up to two seconds and it sounds really nice. If your track is smaller and you don't need a tail as big, you could always turn it down to just one second and it sounds pretty sick. And so this is the essential of the reverb saw picture, but we're missing the final touch. So we're gonna have one voice we're, we don't need eight voices because we're not really going to be doing chords with this synth. Although that doesn't sound bad. And then we're going to go to the glide and we're going to turn this up to 0. 0.245 seconds. 0. 0.245. So we're going to click on leg auto and we're going to go to always glide. And there you go. You guys have the reverb saw picture made in Vital. Super easy. You guys can always adjust the parameters. Say you want more glide, turn up the glide. 
So here's the key thing to note here. If you guys know how the reverb saw picture sounds in Serum, it sounds different than in Vital. And that is because both synths have different algorithms for how they process their sound. So Serum, the reverb sounds a bit more brighter, I noticed, and it has a little bit more mids to it. And the reverb here in Vital sounds a bit more harder to control. Um, like for some reason, the size typically on reverbs, the lower the size, the smaller the room sounds. And the higher you go, the bigger it sounds, which on Vital, it's the opposite. Um, I'm not sh fully sure about the algorithm. Um, and so I tried my best to make this as close as I can to Serum, but I can't help it if the algorithms are different, which is completely fine. Each synth has its own special sound and that's what makes them unique. If you guys are wondering, it's called Cry on my Serum preset pack. <laughs> sounds pretty much the same. A cool macro we got on the Serum one is that there's a cry, so if you wanted zero reverb, you can just turn down the cry macro. But if you wanted zero reverb here, we can make our own macro. We're gonna go to macro one, and we're gonna modulate the reverb mix. And then we can turn it up all the way, baby. So now we can name this macro, we're gonna call this cry. And so yeah, this is it guys. It might sound funny without any chords or anything like that, but let's see how it sounds if we put it in the context of some chords and some bass and a cool drum pattern. Let's see how that sounds. So I made a quick little poppy future bass kind of beat for you guys with this reverb side picture just to show you guys what it can do. It's subtly in the background, but let me know if you guys are able to catch it. I see the light here in the dark again. Just to see a spark Just wake me up when it's all over Wake me up again When the feeling gets too much And you feel there's nothing left I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you guys learned something new from it, comment down below what you guys learned. And yeah, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel if you haven't already because I plan on uploading a lot of cool tutorials coming soon. Thank you guys so much for watching. Peace out.